Well, colon cleansers have been all the health rage lately, especially on social media. Have you noticed this? It's a popular alternative remedy that some claim removes waste and toxins from the colon. They may be referred to as detoxes, flushes, juice diets, and bowel cleanses, but at the end of the day, is it harmful or harmful? Let's ask the expert. Joining me now is Dr. Natasha Bouillon, National Medical Director of One Medical. All right, we see this everywhere and so many different brands and kinds and everything. But first off, explain what a colon cleanse is and does. Well, this is a process where fluid is essentially flushed through the colon, usually by a small tube that has low pressure. Mm -hmm. And most people will use water, and sometimes that water is mixed with things like coffee or even herbs. Okay. Now, there's another way to do a colon cleanse, and that is by taking a supplement that often is laxatives or teas, and that vigorously expels contents from your colon. Right. And most people that I hear that do this, they're often doing it because they want to remove toxins from their colon, mm -hmm. they want to be healthy, but the problem is, you know, there's no evidence that this actually improves gut health, and in fact, there's a lot of risks. Yes, and that's what I want to get into, the risks, because they probably outweigh the benefits. They right? do, yeah. So, you know, there are a lot of risks with this. Oftentimes they're done in non-medical facilities. They might be done in wellness centers. Mm -hmm. And really our colon was designed to hold water and store stool as well as absorbing that water into our body. Mm -hmm. And so when we flush it with high volumes of water, what ends up happening is it throws everything into imbalance. And so mm -hmm. we might suffer from dehydration or an electrolyte imbalance. What this also does is it sometimes wipes out good bacteria that exists in our gut right. and so we've seen cases of people getting infections after they've done colon cleanses mm -hmm. and now the other risk is rare but there is a chance of someone having a tear or a perforation okay. in their colon because the tissue inside our body is not as you know strong and thick as the right. tissue outside of our body so lots of risks to this procedure okay so what are ways that people can improve their gut health in a more healthy way yeah there are alternatives and this is the thing that people are talking about all the time especially now we are seeing rates of colon cancer are increasing, it's alarming because it's especially happening in people under 50. So everybody wants to know, how do I keep my gut healthy? And it's really about going back to the basics. It's about staying hydrated, making sure you've got plenty of fiber in your diet. This is really important and key, it's exercise. Movement helps our gut in ways that people don't even realize. Even three times a week for 30 minutes, going for a brisk walk can make a great difference in your gut health. Limiting things like red meat and instead focusing on lean meats like chicken or fish. Right. And then trying to avoid ultra processed foods. Those are of course not good for us, we know that. Mm -hmm. And it might increase our risk of colon cancer in the long run. Mm -hmm. And then making sure that your diet is rich in things like fruits and vegetables, whole grains, especially foods like fiber, which I think none of us get enough of. Right, mm -hmm. you know, in, in recent topics when we had you on, we also talked about probiotics and prebiotics mm -hmm. and everything. So when you talked about gut health, mm -hmm. It reminded me of probiotics. Yeah, exactly. And I think it's, you know, we do want to make sure that our gut has a nice balance of our probiotics and make sure that we've got good bacteria as well as, you know, any of the bad bacteria that we need to remove. Right. And that's what people are trying to do with these colon cleanses, but it ends up wiping out all of the bacteria, even the good bacteria that you need. Uh, and probiotics might be helpful in maintaining your health, okay. but it doesn't mean that every single person needs to take a probiotic. Right. Some people might benefit from it who have digestive issues or loose stools or constipation or bloating, but you know, the average person who feels fine, yeah. they, don't, need it. they don't need to take anything. Like save your money and mostly just focus on eating healthy exercise, limiting alcohol. Those are the things that make a difference in the long run. Is there a risk though, if you do take a probiotic when you don't need it? You know, if people take probiotics that they don't need, the risk is to your wallet because it oh, really, you know, there's okay. not lots of harms to you, right. but for a lot of people, they're taking it and it's really it's not doing any benefit. It's just a waste. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that's a money-saving Monday. Money-saving Monday. Saving All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Great info, Natasha. Thank you.